مرحبا. Welcome to this video series on Arabic language and culture. My name is Dr. Iman Ramadan. I'm a lecturer of Arabic in the Department of Near Eastern Languages and Cultures at Hamilton Luger School of Global and International Studies, Indiana University. And my name is Ashley Basudi, PhD candidate in the Department of Near Eastern Languages and Cultures at Indiana University and visiting professor in the Department of Modern Languages and Literatures at Grand Valley State University. In these videos, you will learn about Arab culture and some useful phrases and words you can use when traveling to the Arab world. Arabic is the official language of 22 countries that make up the Arab League. It is important to distinguish between the Arab world and Middle East. Although they are similar, the Middle East is a geographic region in Southeast Asia and North Africa and includes Turkey, Israel, and Iran, which are not Arab countries. The Arab world is the following list of countries that are members of the Arab League. Algeria, Al-Jazair. Bahrain, Al-Bahrain. Comoros, Jazer Al-Qamar. Djibouti, Djibouti. Egypt, Masr. Iraq, Al-Iraq. Jordan, Al-Urdun. Kuwait, Al-Kuwait. Lebanon, Lebanon. Libya, Libya. Mauritania, Mauritania. Morocco, Al-Maghrib. Oman, Oman. Palestine, Palestine. Qatar, Qatar. Saudi Arabia, Al-Saudiya. Somalia, Al-Somal. Sudan, Al-Sudan. Syria, Syria. Tunisia, Tunis. United Arab Emirates, Al-Emirat. And Yemen, Al-Yemen. As you can see, Arabic is widely spoken. It is considered a diglossic language, meaning that you have two varieties of language, written standard and spoken dialect. The standard written variety of Arabic is common all across the Arab world. It is used in formal situations, such as in sermons at a mosque or church, on news programs, or in lectures at a university. It is learned at school and not typically used at home. It is also important to note that the standard variety of Arabic is the language of the Qur'an, Al-Qur'an, the religious text of Islam. Because of this, Arabs of all religious backgrounds value and take pride in their native language of Arabic. The dialect, on the other hand, is the language that native Arabic speakers learn from birth. It is the variety of Arabic used between friends, relatives, and colleagues. Dialects differ from region to region and country to country across the Arab world, and sometimes there are multiple dialects within one country. For example, the gold dialect widely spoken in countries such as Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Iraq differs from the Moroccan dialect in Morocco, which differs from the Egyptian dialect in Egypt. For the purpose of this video series, we will be focusing on the Levantine dialect, which is called Ashami in Arabic. Ashami is spoken in Lebanon, Syria, Jordan, and Palestine. More specifically, we will be focusing on the dialect used in Jordan. We have chosen this dialect for two reasons. First, Jordan is currently one of the safest countries within the Middle East and has seen an increase in American tourists and students studying abroad in recent years. And second, the Levantine, or Jordanian dialect, is understood across the Arab world. You should be able to use the words and phrases introduced in this video series and be understood in any country in which Arabic is spoken. Before we start these videos, it's important to talk about some sounds that are used in Arabic as Arabic has a variety of sounds that are not used in English. So, all words will be presented in Arabic along with their English transliteration. Learn the following Arabic sounds along with their transliteration symbols. Listen and repeat the sounds that the following letters of the alphabet make. A, ba, ta, sa, ja, ha, kha, da. 
th, r, z, s, sh, s, d, t, d, a, r, f, q, k, l, m, n, h, w, u. يا إي The last two letters و and يا can be pronounced as long vowels و إي or as consonants و يا The transliteration guide on the last screen included three long vowels أ و إي In addition to these long vowels, there are three short vowels, a, u, e. Long vowels are twice as long as short vowels. Long vowels will be written with double letters, a, u, e, and short vowels will be written with just single letters. Let's take a look at some of the sounds that differ from the English language so that you can learn how to pronounce them. The capital letter H represents the letter H, which is pronounced like the letter H, but further back in the throat. Imagine taking a pair of glasses or a mirror and trying to fog the lens with your breath. This is the sound that H makes. It is used in the word we used for hello at the beginning of the video, marhaba. Practice pronouncing H and marhaba by repeating after me. ح مرحبا The letters KH represent the letter خ, which is pronounced like the خ in the German composer Bach's name. An example of this letter in context is the Arabic word for lettuce, خس. Practice pronouncing خ and خس by repeating after me. خ Some letters in Arabic are considered to be emphatic, meaning they give surrounding vowel sounds a deeper quality. Three such sounds are saw, da, ta. These letters will be transliterated with the capital letters S, D, and T. This is in contrast to the non emphatic letters S, D, T which will be represented with the lowercase letters S, D, and T. There are three vowel sounds in Arabic, A, U, and E. Listen to the vowel sounds following emphatic and non-emphatic letters. So, su, si, se, su, si. Do, du, di, da, Do D. Ta tu ti. Ta tu ti. Now, listen to the difference in pronunciation of the following words that contain emphatic and non emphatic letters. Practice pronouncing them after me. Sabah. Service. Dabab. Dub. Tajin. Tajir. When you see S, D, or T in transliteration, pay attention to whether the letter is lowercase or uppercase to determine how the word should be pronounced. The sound A, which is perhaps the most distinct sound in Arabic, will be represented with a superscript C. Listen to the A in the word for the language. Arabi. Practice pronouncing the sound a with the word Arabi after me. A Arabi. The letters GH will represent the sound R. Imagine gargling water after brushing your teeth. This is the sound that R makes. Listen to the letter pronounced in the word Rali, meaning expensive. Now practice pronouncing the sound R and the word Rali 
after me. R, ready. Now, as you know the sound that letters in Arabic alphabet make, let's move on to these videos in the series. Before that, though, we want to mention the difference between the following terms, Arab, Arabic, and Arabian. Arab is a noun or adjective. It is used in a wide variety of contexts, such as Arab people and Arab culture. Arabic is the name of the language spoken by Arabs and is sometimes used as an adjective in the context of Arabic coffee. Arabian is an adjective which refers to Saudi Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula, or an Arabian horse. We look forward to joining you on this journey to learn about Arabic language and culture. Ashley, are you ready? Jahze? Jahze. Are you all ready? Jahzeen? Let's learn this vocabulary word that will be repeated in every video in this series. Jahiz. Jahiz. Jahzi. Jahzi. Jahzeen. Jahzeen. Great. We will see you in the next video, inshallah. Ila laqa. Ma'as-salama.